All right, and as quickly as I left off on the last episode, here we are back deep into this case. We've got toes to to be kept on, as always. Uh, we're going on toe watch. Now I'm gonna have to prove how it all fits together. How it all fits together. I have to show how at act acto. All right, I'm done. How Acro murdered Russell Berry. Can you do it, Nick? Can you really do that? I know what I can't do. I can't stop now. If I stop attacking, I'm doomed. I'm playing doom now. <laughs> All right then, let's do it. Mr. Phoenix Wright, if this witness is the killer, then his eyewitness account is all lies, right? Mm, Mr. Wright, I'd like you to clear something up for me. When the crime was committed, exactly where was Mr. Dingling? In his room? Oh, sheesh. Uh... I mean, in his room, right? Prison? He's obviously here the entire time. That's Acro's room. Pretty simple, eh? Acro wasn't able to leave the lodging house by himself. In that case, there can only be one correct answer. Acro didn't leave his room to kill the ringmaster. What? Are you nuts? What are you, what say you, Mr. Dingling? It's an interesting theory. Um, that's it? Considering that what you propose is impossible, yes, that's it. Dang. Shut us down with the impossible claim. Mm, Mr. Wright, having played Dong and Rapa and Phoenix Wright, <laughs> These uh, games know no bounds as to how silly and ridiculous they are. They can get. Yes, Your Honor? As the witness has stated, your assertion is impossible. As he is in a wheelchair, there is no way he could go to the scene or be the killer. He didn't have to be at the scene, though. He is directly above the scene, and if our ringmaster dude died of blunt force trauma... Then that sounds like a fallen object to me. Maybe, perhaps. Uh oh man. What if he just dropped the bust on down there and just <laughs> completely just dropped a giant statue of Max and then lifted it back up? Hmm, you've got a point. It seems you've forgotten once again, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The defendant was clearly spotted at the scene of the crime. That's true. Mo said that he saw Max, didn't he? And then he hovered away. But Maya, it's still impossible for humans to fly. Do you mind if I ask something, Mr. Wright? What is it? I understand some of your logic. However, how do you think that I killed him? If I can't leave my room, I obviously couldn't... I obviously couldn't wear Max's costume. Mm, how did he do it? That's the next course of this legal buffet. Buffet. Be careful, Nick, if you mess up here. She's right, I can't mess up here. I've got to give this one some serious thought. I'm sure that Acro killed the ringmaster, and he did it while he was in his room. No doubt about it. Time to enlighten us on how Mr. Dingling committed the crime. Uh, Mr. Wright? Uh, <laughs> hmm, let me think. I'm going to tab that court record open. Now, I did present the earlier theory on how, uh, our man could have used the bust of Max. Did he really just, like, plop it on down and <laughs> landed his target? What else could there be? So we've got that. We've got the note, too. Grand Prix photo. Photo of Max's award ceremony. Uh, I don't feel like any of this is, like, relevant just yet. Because there's the bus on its pedestal. Small seasoning bottle. 
wooden box. Autopsy report. Yeah, let's see. Blunt force trauma to the back of the head. And we've got the note telling him to go to the place. Yeah, the lodging house plaza. I guess we'll present. We'll present evidence. I'm going to present some evidence. So why did Mr. Dingling use to commit the crime of murder against Russell Berry? Let's try the bust. Well, yeah. Let's present that. Take that. Take that. Ah. What's that, a picture? It is indeed. The problem is with the item that's shown in the picture. The bust? It's quite a large bust. Because it's life-size, it is also very, very heavy. Heavy? Heavy enough to guarantee a certain death. My god, this is really just like a cartoon. Like... <laughs> throw like a piano off the roof, isn't it? Or uh, like, a, like an iron weight or whatever. Iron Anvil. Especially if it was dropped from a third-story window. Ah! See? This is how Acro is able to kill the Rigmaster. With the force of gravity of Maximilian Galactica's ample bust. Wow. Oh my god, his bust is amazing. Wow. <laughs> bust is large. Order. So you're saying the bus fell into the ringmaster? A rather simple crime. Even if you were stuck in a wheelchair, it would be incredibly easy to commit. Objection! How could you possibly wheel the wheelchair with something so heavy? It's impossible. Objection! Well, Acro is an acrobat. He should have more than enough upper body strength to carry something like the bust. Carrying... <laughs> Max's large bust. Mr. Dingling, how do you respond to these charges? Well, now that my birds have left me, it's time to get serious. Acro's at a loss for words. He should be. He knows that I'm getting close to the truth. Well, 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 Acro. You can't run- Ow! I'd watch what I say if I were you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? Your Honor, the physical health of the witness is material to this case. I demand that we get proper testimony from the witness himself. Hmm, testimony, you say? Von Karma. She's just using this testimony as a rouse to stall for time. Objection! There's absolutely no need for such testimony. Objection! The defense has its version of the murder. The prosecution has the right to respond. The defense's objection is overruled. Why can't he see things my way once in a while? Mr. Dangling, I'm sorry, but we need you to testify about your physical condition. If you have any doubts about your ability to testify, we can request expert testimony. The witness will have no problems. However, let's all be respectful towards him. Thank you, thank you. Ugh, that woman will sink to any low to win a case. I don't know. I feel like it's not that low of a low. <laughs> Acro's physical state. I suppose I could have lifted something the size of that bust. I have a strong upper body from working as an acrobat, and only my legs were injured. However, lifting the bust and looking out of the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the ringmaster's head. Thus, it would be unrealistic for me to drop the bust on him, don't you think? DROP THE BUST! <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, I'm sorry. Hmm, I have no doubts in regards to this test- to this witness's testimony, to this testimony's witness. It was impossible for him to lift the bust and stick himself out far enough to look. Not to mention that he could not have known the location of the ringmaster's head. A single false step would have led to even more severe injuries. That's what I was thinking. 
What is your opinion on the matter, Mr. Wright? I'd still like to proceed with my cross-examination. He's simply stalling. It's shameful, really. Grr, I can't let her get to me. I've got to focus. Focus up! Acro's physical state. I suppose I could have lifted something the size of that bus. Hold it! Have you ever lifted up the bus before? No, I've never actually lifted it up with my own two hands. Imagine you said, yeah, I lifted it up the other night to drop it on the ringmaster's head. But I should get to it, don't you think? I can't let money outdo me on this. Money? That crazy monkey has lifted Max's bust before? Ah. And now he's shot himself in the foot. Off a random comment? Now, we're finally getting... Oh my god, that's what I thought. I swear if this game is like... Yeah, money was totally his accomplice. I'm actually gonna be like a little angry that my theory about money being his accomplice was shot down before. I guess there's a time to make that claim. I guess maybe it just... I was a little too early on that. Maybe just jumping too, uh, too ahead. But man. Please continue with your testimony, Mr. Dingling. Still gonna be a little salty over here. I have a strong upper body from working as an acrobat, and only my legs were injured. So what have you been doing to keep in shape? Well, honestly, I've given up on training. I don't have any plans to return the trapeze or the tightrope. You don't say. But, no offense, I'm not worried about losing to you in a race or anything. Dang. Neither am I, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I wouldn't lose either, Slowpoke. I mean, Nick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did this discussion turn to me all of a sudden? I suppose you could say that I'm stronger than the average bear. Is that right? Because I feel like you lost to a lion. Uh, however, lifting the bus and looking out of the window would have been impossible. And why is that? Because if I were to do that, I'd end up falling out the window myself. I still haven't gotten much feeling back in my legs yet. Hmm, so you couldn't have thrown that bus out the window. Drop that bus out the window, yo. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. How long do you think your recovery will take? Hmm, you have to remember that my nerves were severely damaged. I'm currently undergoing some in extremely intensive rehabilitation, but it's still going to take a while before I'm back to 100%. Let me remind you of another very important point. If the witness was carrying the bust, he would not be able to see out below the window. Ah. That's why we have, uh, monkeys spying eyes. Money. That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the ringmaster's head. Why do you say it would be impossible? Also, my foot is like, the way I'm sitting, we gotta do some readjusting here because my foot is actually falling asleep. Allow me to explain. You have to accept that if I was carrying the bus, I couldn't see out the window. Thus, there is no way that I would have known the location of the ringmaster's head. Well, I suppose you've got a point. Hey, Nick. Huh? What if you turn things around? Maybe if you think of it, sort of like this. Oh? If he knew the location of the ringmaster's head, then he could drop the bust. That does make sense. If only I could prove somehow. That Acro knew the location of the ringmaster's head without looking down. It's almost like he had an accomplice or something. Like a monkey. A monkey accomplice. I think I've already explained things sufficiently. Thus, it would be unrealistic for me to drop the bus on him, don't you think? And I bust it down. <laughs> bust you will style. If all you had to do was drop it, then it wouldn't have been a problem at all. All I had to do was drop it. You're right, I could have done that. However, there is no way that I could land a direct hit on the ringmaster's head. So that kind of makes your theory a bit pointless, doesn't it, Mr. Wright? Acro is strong enough to lift up the bus. 
He's gonna lift it like the roof, baby. Uh, the main problem is how he could have aimed for the ringmaster's head. Hmm, I wonder if he used some kind of tool to aim for the ringmaster. That's the ticket, Nick. Show him what you've got. I have to be careful. I have to find something that fits perfectly with this case. I don't remember us finding any sort of tool. But maybe we overlooked something. It has to be the monkey! The monkey is an accomplice! We're gonna go ahead and save real quick. Just in case. Uh, could have listed. Yeah, you could have. Strong upper body from working as an acrobat. Only my legs were injured. We know that part. Looking out of the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. That's fair. Makes it impossible for me to have known the location the ringmaster's had. Now this one, this is the claim. I think we have to present the monkey, your freaking partner in crime, for the love of God. Your Honor, this statement contradicts this evidence. Okay. Action denied. All right, we're gonna go through a few possibilities. That makes it impossible. Oh uh, yeah, lifting the bus and looking out of the window would have been impossible. Let's try the monkey on this statement. God dang it! Whoops, that didn't go so well. Loading the bus. Alright, what evidence do we actually have? So we got the bus. Busting it down. I still don't think this comes into play, does it? Like, I'm looking all around. I'm not seeing, like, anything. But the bus there. And the trophy. It's just not, like, a thing in this trial. We don't, we don't need the photo. That's not gonna prove anything, I don't think. Unless he somehow smelled the pepper through the box. Oh my god, that'd be so dumb though. But also not outside the realm of possibility, I guess. It was hunched over, it contains pepper. No way I could have exerted. I swear to God, if this is the damn pepper. Okay. I haven't completely lost my mind yet. Your Honor, that statement contradicts evidence. Objection denied. Alright, alright, alright. Whoops. What's the other statement I could. Does it be unrealistic for me to drop the bus on him, don't you think? Uh, he's saying things like impossible and unrealistic. I don't like it one bit. Unless he knew ahead of time because of the note, he just was looking at the clock the whole time. I guess we could try the note. From the location of the ringmaster's head. This is the angle we're going for, that maybe he knew the time that the ringmaster would show up. But the problem is, is that his autopsy report states that it's 10.15, which is a whole 15 minutes ahead of, uh, of when he was supposed to meet up. So let's just present. Alright. When is this statement is clearly faulty, your honor? Alright, but I can say nothing faulty. No, no, no. Alright, well... Ugh, I must be on the wrong track. We will get to the bottom of this next time on, uh, on Tobal Hour. There we go. Where we're bringing it back full force. Keep them on their toes. Unlike Acro, who could not stay on his toes. Anyways, I'm sorry. That was, uh, that was kind of... That was bad of me. Anyways. Next episode. Next episode. We'll... We'll figure out something for this. This mystery of mysteries. See you then. Bye.